There we go. Now he's dead and he's a big bulb on the ground, just chilling. What's up everybody, Badass Games? Welcome back to Resident Evil Walkthrough. We are now going to go back to the mansion because we finally have the key that uh, we wanted. Um, I also have the combat knife with me. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop that off because I'm not going to be using it. I'm just going to carry around the shotgun with seven shots and the helmet key. Uh, we got to go back to the central corridor of the guardhouse as well to pick up some of those green herbs that we missed in the last video. So let's head on over here and grab these real quick. Now there's three of them, and there's also a blue herb that I've missed so far too, and we're gonna we're gonna grab that as well. So let's go back over here where we had all that fun stuff happen. Push this gargoyle statue all the way back, and you should expose that uh, other herb that's right here. Let's pick them all up. We can combine these to make our uh, a three green herb healing thing. Awesome. Now we just have that one space left for the uh, blue herb. Of course, we can combine to increase our inventory space if we need it. But we're going to go back and grab this green herb. And, oh, it's not a green herb. I'm sorry. It's a blue herb. We're going to go grab this blue herb that's right here in this corner. Yeah, I totally forgot about picking this thing up last time, so make sure you grab that. And, uh, let's do some combinations of the green herbs. There we go. And we should still have two inventory slots left. That's gonna be exactly how much space I'm gonna need. Alright, now that we have the key, we have all the stuff in the guardhouse ready to leave, and we're gonna go all the way back to the mansion. The dogs have, uh, not have despawned in this area, so keep that in mind. You can run freely through here without anything to worry about. Now you hear a beep when you leave the room and you can use the radio. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a sign. This is Chris. Brad, can you hear me? Damn. So Chris is pissed that uh, he can't hear Brad. Um, the radio doesn't really do much except for that sort of thing you can communicate. Uh, just for storyline purposes. Alright, so like I said, no dogs here. Just run straight through. We're going all the way back to the mansion the exact same way we came. Now remember, we didn't kill any of the dogs in uh, this area. And these are the guys that have the high aggro range. So, uh, just be careful. And uh, wait for them to turn around like that and go. And then let's just run because uh, we're going to be right there soon anyway. And make your way up. Okay, so at the top of here, we also had a bunch of little snakes fall down from the, the, from the trees, I suppose. And they're called adders, and they are poisonous. So you do have, if you do get poisoned, you do get bit, then you have blue herb in your inventory to use to remove that poison. Alright, let's go down here. Yeah. So this area right here actually is a puzzle. It may have not seemed, it may not have seemed to be a very good puzzle so far, but it actually turns out to be a really clever and interesting puzzle that we will deal with later. All right, another area where we have dogs roaming around that we didn't take care of. Uh, we got to be careful here because let's see, they should turn around. Yeah, it's been rather consistent that that's the way that they move, so that's good. Right, let's go all the way back into the storeroom. Fortunately, we have all of the items in this area picked up. And then we're finally almost close to the uh, mansion. We gotta go through another door here after this. But remember, I just went through another door, right? And then I'm going through another one? Keep that in mind for this upcoming cutscene that we're about to see. You'll notice that there's a door missing. Now when we get to this point in this room, we get this cutscene. Oh, it's a new type of enemy. It's the hunters. It's something we haven't seen yet, and they're kind of weird. They're very fast and agile, and they do a lot of damage, but the shotgun is actually really cool to use against them. I'm actually not going to kill that guy. Uh, I don't know why I just wasted two shots on him, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave him there and not even worry about him. 
All right, I used the helmet key on that door. That was one of the first doors that we haven't been able to go into yet in this mansion. And we're going to turn on this light so that way we can see what's going on around here. There is some magnum rounds on the desk here. Okay, magnum rounds. As in for a new type of gun that we're going to be getting later. Over here is a book. Pick this book up. Eagle of East, Wolf of West. Okay, it's called the Doom Book. Uh, this is something you're going to want to inspect. Check it. We're going to want to do it just like we did the last book. Check the pages. Oh, look, there's a metal inside. We need this metal. Okay, so you absolutely have to inspect that book. It is very important that you do it that way to get this Eagle Metal, because this is what we need. We don't need the book. All right, let's leave the inventory. Now we're going to go back to the storeroom that's on this side of the mansion. So we can drop some stuff off, and we're going to go fight the a boss again. So there's that hunter. There's going to be a lot of hunters that I pass up because um, some of them, this doesn't matter if they're, oh, he hit me. He's going to come out around that. I'm going to stand right here. Now, the idea of getting the, these guys down is there's a, a window from when they stand up to when you can hit them before they leap into the air and hit you, okay? Very short window, so it makes it very difficult to uh, use the weapon on the, those things. But the shotgun's actually probably the best way to go for the hunters. Okay, we enter this room, and there's some shells on the ground. Oh, what, but we don't have any more inventory space, and I didn't bring sh shells with me, so I can't stack them. I have to leave it there. But we're in a storeroom anyway. Let's drop everything off that we don't need. I'm going to be taking the shotgun, the helmet key, and some shotgun shells with me. Let's see if I have any shells in here. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. I wanted shells. There we go. Let's drop off this blue herb. Let's drop off this uh, eagle metal and the magnum rounds. We're not gonna, we don't have the magnum yet, so it's pointless. Okay, now we have the inventory space we need. We're going to pick this stuff up and drop some of it off in the box as well. First aid spray, clip, and shotgun shells. Where did this all come from? Well, I'll show you here in a little bit. I, there's a plaque outside that I could have, or actually a piece of paper outside of this room that I could have read that tells you sort of where all this stuff comes from. All right, let's go ahead and combine shotgun shells so we have a full shotgun and put everything else that we don't need into the box. If I can find space. I have a lot of clips that I kind of need to combine, so let's uh, do some of that. Might as well. I don't have anything else to do right now, I suppose, except for fight a boss. Uh, that's not all. I believe I have two more clips in here. Yeah, right here they are. So, you know, free up a little bit of space in that box, so that way we don't get close to filling it up. 153 rounds for my pistol, for my Beretta. That's pretty cool, but the Beretta's pretty weak anyway. Alright, cool. So I believe I am ready to go. Let's go up and fight a boss. Oh, this is the piece of paper. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Wesker. So Wesker is the one that gave us all that stuff. He came in here and put it all back there. What a nice guy, that Wesker. I'm really glad we have him on our side. Alright, as you can see, there's another hunter up here. In fact, there's two, but the, I'm not going to fight the other one. It's the other direction. I'm going to go over here and try to waste this guy. Shooting him in the back gives you a lot of chance to get some shots off on him. Uh, let's go ahead and refill the gun because we're going to need it full when we go into this boss fight. We have to fight um, something we've fought before. I pretty much just gave it away. So, let's go in here. This is uh, another area where we need the helmet key. So far, I've used the helmet key twice, and it hasn't gone out of my inventory yet. Alright, so this room looks pretty empty, except for this, uh, you know, fireplace, table, and piano. If you inspect the piano, you activate the boss fight. Okay, so I haven't shown you guys uh, any death animations. I'm sure you guys are like, Matt, you need to die eventually once, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys a death animation on this guy, because it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm getting down to nine shots if I can. I'm pretty close to dead, I'm sure, by now. Might as well just shoot what I can. Oh, I'm actually win this if I keep it up. Oh, there we go. That is just an awesome death animation. I'm sorry, but it's cool. You get swallowed by a snake. 
game over. Oh, it's you died, not game over. I died. All right, guys, I'll see you guys back at this spot. All right, guys, I finally made it back here. I had to go through all that stuff that you just saw all over again just to get here. So, all the, th the things I do for you guys. All right, let's get this boss fight underway. Pretty sure he takes about 10 shots with a shotgun to kill, and uh, since Chris is a huge tank, he can he can take the damage. I totally ran into that one. Shoot him and run. God, you're so slow, Chris. Just shoot him. Let's reload. All right, so if I can get out of here... Oh, nope, just shoot him. Shoot up the snake. Shoot the snakey. He's gonna go around on himself and... There we go. Now he's dead, and I'm probably in the red. Yeah, I'm probably like one hit away. But as you can see, he didn't poison me this time. So I don't need to worry about being poisoned. If you're afraid of coming into this, uh, when you come into this fight of dying, then you can also carry a, an herb and one of these other things. But make sure you use it because we're gonna need all the inventory space we can get when we go down in here. Or you could probably go back right now and drop some stuff off, heal up, and then go in this hole, but uh, the enemies we're about to face are very unformidable, so not too concerned about uh, my health at this point. I don't think I'll get hit. If I do get hit, then yeah. All right, we went down in the hole. Okay, said it was dark. You didn't jump down anyway? Yeah, why not jump down into a dark hole during a zombie apocalypse? It's a smart idea. But then you have this, this uh, what is it, tombstone right here. It says Full Metal Prison, 1993 to 1994. I don't know that reference, so if anybody knows what that is referring to, please uh, drop a comment. All right, let's push this button, and... Oh, it looks like it's opened up a uh, passageway down. Let's go down in here. I will descend the ladder. Okay, we're going basically into the basement of the mansion right now. Okay, we were on the second floor, which dro we dropped down on the first floor, and then we used the uh, ladder to go down into the basement. Okay, so here's a zombie. Let uh, me blow his head off. And then come over here, there's another zombie. And blow his head off. And pick up the shotgun shells. So we gained more shotgun shells than we lost by shooting their head off. Okay. That's all I came over here for. There's also going to be some herbs that we can get here in a little bit. I'm going to go through this door, and we're going to use them to heal up. And it's just right around this corner. we got two zombies that are going to stand up to try to think that they're going to get you, but... If you know how to do it, you can blow both their heads off with one shot and come over here and pick up these herbs. I'm pretty sure that that guy that's, uh, the zombie that's below me is, uh, not alive and he won't attack you, so, um, I'm not 100% positive about that, though, so I'd stay away from his head just in case, but you can totally grab the herbs right here and then use them, because we need them. Now we're finally in the yellow fine zone, that's the, my safe zone, where I like to be, I like to be in the green, but yellow is just as good. Alright, let's go over here and open this door. All right, now we're in the kitchen. The kitchen has a two enemies, and it also has a key over here that we're gonna want to grab. So let's grab this desk key. All right, so we can open up another desk in a little a little bit, and then we want to go over here to this side. Now be careful because this is a living. This a zombie is live. This dead thing is living. I'm trying to say here. Takes a lot of shots with the shot. Look at this. All that just to not get hit bitten once, you know what I'm saying? I should have just stepped up. Basically, the best thing to do in that case is just to walk up to him and let him bite you twice and then stomp on his head. You don't waste any ammo and you don't take away very much life at all. So that's clearly the best thing to do. Okay, on our way up, we're going to go into another room where there's going to be a bunch more zombies because we like zombies and we like popping their heads off. If you don't feel the same way, then yeah, I don't know who, I don't know you. All right, blow his head off. There's a herb over here. Okay, um, we don't nest. I guess I'll go ahead and take it and use it. Might as well top my health off. Uh, the thing is, though, is that we can't necessarily take that back to the box because we need the inventory space. We need all the inventory space we can get right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna head over this direction. You can go. There's another room over there, but I'm gonna go over here real quick. Kill this zombie real quick and go in this door. There's a couple of items in here of important. Actually, there's only one item in here of important. Okay, we got shotgun shells, which are pretty dang important. Okay. Let 
we also have this battery right here. I didn't show you where this goes because I was too busy trying to dodge uh, dogs in the courtyard. But this is where it goes. It goes in that same area. It goes where the in the area where um, all the dogs aggro really with a large range. I keep saying that their aggro range is real large. The battery receptacle area is in that area. Okay, and it activates the other lift that we need to do. Okay, so now we're going to go into the large library, which happens to be over in this direction. There's another guy right here, but uh, he's pretty unthreatening, so we're going to leave him be. And uh, his name's Dave. So Dave gets to survive. This guy doesn't. Now let's take that desk key over here and use it right here. Ah, I've used the desk key. Oh, and by the way, speaking of Dave, if you guys are wondering what happened to our friend Norm, um, yeah, Norm disappeared after we came back to the mansion, after we got the helmet key and came back to the mansion. He's gone. He took a vacation or something. So I used the desk key over there, and I got some magnum rounds, and here's a zombie with no head, and also an item that we can grab, the scrapbook. Some interesting information in here as well. All this stuff is usually pretty interesting, so I recommend giving it a thorough read-through. Let's put that away. All right, now we're gonna go into this room right here. Okay, we're we have to go in here only if you want to get the good ending, because the item that we need in here uh, is going to give us the good ending that we need for the good ending. All right, so we got the statue right here. Just want to push it out that far. We don't want to push it out too much further, and we also want to push it in this direction. The puzzle itself isn't really telling itself yet. In order to have the puzzle tell you what's going on, you want to press this statue right here. Press the switch to turn on that light over there. Oh, I don't want I don't want to turn it off. But we want to move the statue into the light. That's the answer to the puzzle. And there we go. A secret passage opens up behind one of the bookshelves. And we will find an MO disc. Okay, this isn't this is an item, so we have to use inventory space for it. Okay, so that's kind of, kind of sucks, but now we have a full inventory and it's time for us to pretty much go back and empty it out. We will be back up here though because there's a couple of more items that I'm going to want to grab. Uh, unfortunately I have a full inventory right now and I can't grab them. See there's another door in that room that were from where I just came at that you can go into. But, uh, like I said, don't have the room in the inventory. There's also another door down that direction. Alright, so let's go down the elevator, back down to the kitchen. Okay, and we're, we're gonna go into a familiar area. A very familiar area that we've seen before. Alright, back in the kitchen. Go over here. Whoa, there's gonna be a zombie, complete with a cutscene and everything. Well, they know how to operate doors, which is a first. But we'll just blow his head off anyway, and continue on. Okay, so we climb some steps, which puts us back on the first floor, because we were in the basement. And then we're going to unlock this door from this side, and this is going to take us back into the tea room, and finally we have all the tea room doors covered. Alright, but there are a couple hunters in here, so you got to be careful. Especially since they jump around like this. I want to get them dead, though. Why do I might not fire my gun? Uh-oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to go back to the... Oh, do I have an herb? No, I'm just going to run... Alright, well, I wanted them dead, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, so there is a... there's two hunters in here as well. There's one. I'm gonna die, because I can't see him. Combine this with that. Hopefully I hit him. Did I hit him? Yes, I did. Okay. Ooh, and... Oh, there it is. There's the death. He cut my head off. That guy's pretty good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Unfortunately, I have to do all of that stuff over again because that's how this game works. You gotta reload from where you saved at. So I'll see you guys back at this spot.
Alright guys, I have returned. Finally, I've come back and I'm gonna try and take out this hunter still. Hopefully I can get him, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be the case because, uh, yeah. Now, these hunters are actually pretty- oh my god, they are just destroying me. They are uh, actually pretty easy to dodge when there's only one of them, but man, when there's two of them, you're pretty much gonna get st uh, stun locked. You can't do anything about it. Alright, well, let's try to off this guy. Oh, uh, he jumped for- oh, whatever. I'm not even gonna worry about him. <laughs> Normally I kill those guys because we gotta come back in here, but I'm just gonna forget about it. I'm having a hard time with these guys. They're actually probably the toughest enemy in the game. So, alright, let's go ahead, just go ahead and lay waste to this one, might as well. He's by himself. And he's around a corner. Oh, I missed that up. So, like I said, there's a window between when they... Like, right there is when you can shoot them, and it's really a uh, really small window of opportunity because they might leap. Alright, so there's another one right around this corner, but we can forget about him. He's pretty docile. Finally, in the save room, I can heal up and... <laughs> By the way, that herb that I mentioned um, that you could that you might want to take up on the second floor, near where I got the MO disc and all that stuff... Yeah, I uh, decided to leave that this time, so it's still up there. I haven't taken it with me, and I haven't used it. Alright, so let's drop off some of this stuff. I'm only thing I'm gonna take with me, I know this is crazy, but I'm only taking the helmet key and uh, the magnum rounds, okay? Uh, the reason why is because, like I was trying to tell you, is you can dodge those hunters pretty well if you know how to do it. So, let's drop off this stuff. I said I only want one of the uh, magnum rounds. The reason why I want to bring the magnum rounds is because we're about to get the magnum and we also are gonna get some uh, magnum pickups. Okay, so let's uh, go through this door. Watch out for that hunter because he will activate as soon as you leave. But, like I said, I'm just going to ignore him and go up these steps. Now, there's going to be another hunter as soon as you get to the top here. And I'm going for a door that I haven't seen yet. Okay, I haven't gone over to this particular area yet because I knew I couldn't go through the doors. Well, now I can, so i got to get over there quickly and open it. I use the helmet key, and I should be discarding now, so I'll have full inventory space at this point. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to use that. I want to leave and then go through this door real quick. That was close. Okay, so that's the whole idea there is to get into this door real quick. And now we come into this room where we're going to find a bunch of stuff. Uh, over here we have a note. Orders. So some more interesting read stuff for you guys. Orders have been filed. Alright, so and over here is some shotgun shells and... Our friendly, everyday Magnum Rounds. Yeah. Now, the Magnum is actually a very powerful weapon compared to the Beretta and the shotgun. So, yeah, we're going to want that. Now, you see this, this step ladder right here, and you're like, well, what can I do with this thing? It doesn't really seem to do much. What we need to do is we need to come over here and turn this light off, okay? There's a switch. Will you push it? I'll flip it. I don't know about pushing it, but as you can see, one of the eyes of the deers, the bucks that are here... Has his eyes glowing, and inside of there is a uh, a red jewel. Okay, similar to the blue jewel that we had before, where we got and we got the wind crest with it. Okay, this is the red jewel. It goes in the same statue. Okay, so that's where we're gonna head to now, and we're gonna get that uh, python. It's gonna be the uh, magnum, so it's awesome. So we gotta hurry up and run because this guy's after me. Whew. Man, these guys just are all about it. Okay, now there's going to be that hunter down here again. Okay, I got rid of this guy right here, so I have to worry about him, but... I may have to worry about the ones that are out here, actually, now that I think about it. I really only wanted to get rid of the one that was in front of the door, and I, I failed at it, so... Hopefully this doesn't tax my gig too much. This is the guy. He got me. Whatever. Let's go in here and just go in here. So that's the guy you want to get rid of. I should have gotten rid of him a long time ago. Oh well. Uh, it reads, some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. I never showed you that, so here you go. I'm probably going to die on my way out of here. It's going to be awesome. I have to do all this stuff over again. And behind him is the Colt Python. A very, very powerful weapon. Extremely powerful. All right, so let's equip this thing, and we're going to go out here and take out a few of these hunters. I'm at least going to take out that one right in front of me, because I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I've got, I'm in the red right now, and... Alright, let's equip this thing, and now we're going to go back up to the library area. Oh yeah. So there we go, two shots, my friend. So I'm still hurt pretty bad, I should have healed up before I decided to go do this. 
Let's hope I can, uh, kill this other guy in here real quick. That guy. Oh, he jumped over me. Let's see if I can't kill him. Got him. Sweet, I don't have to worry about him ever again, and... Oh, I love it. I love being this close to death. Okay, so I have a bunch of inventory space, so that's the whole reason why we're going back down in the basement again. So we can make it to the second floor and do a bunch of stuff. It seems kind of weird because, uh, you know, I gotta go to the basement to get to the second floor. Well, the elevator doesn't stop on the first floor. It only goes to the basement and the second floor. Now, if you're Jill, it's actually very easy to get back into this area. But we're not Jill, we're Chris. Okay, back on the second floor, I'm gonna go this direction first. We're gonna go into this area, which is called the Rough Passage. As told by EvilResource.com. This video has not been sponsored by Evil Resource. I'm just saying, it's a great place to go. Might as well use the Colt Pipe. Oh, no! Am I gonna die? Oh, I'm about I don't know what I was thinking. Alright, well... <laughs> I'm so close to dying here. I love it. Will you take the blue herb? Yes. I'll, in fact, take the, the green herbs, and I'll probably use them as well. Okay. There's, uh... This last one. Okay, and we can combine... ...with this. And we can combine with this... ...to get the green-green-blue-herb mix. Okay, so it's gonna heal 50% of your health or whatever. And, uh, there's only enemies in that direction, so I'm just gonna bypass that. They're, what you hear is zombies eating a corpse. That's all you hear, so you just waste your ammo if you go kill them. Okay, so let's go back over to this room. There's another doorway I haven't been in yet. By the way, here's that plant that I left here. Good thing, because I kind of need it. I'm going to go ahead and take it and use it. Basically, the, uh, if you're trying to do this the same way I am, the only time you can pick up this herb is if you're going to use it. So, when it comes to inventory space considerations. Okay, now we're going to go into this room again. We've been in here, but there was one room off the side over in this direction that I haven't been in yet. Alright, it's right here. This thing we can move out of the way. Okay, there's nothing really too important in here except for a couple of storyline keys that aren't really that big. And some other items that we're going to want to take with us, like an ink ribbon. And some clips. And then over here, if we come check the window, I can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. If I could contact the other members from there, especially uh, Brad, I mean, we talked to him on the radio this video, so... So what we're going to do now is we're going to make our way all the way back to the east storeroom save area. So we're, on the e we're going to the east side this time, which is on the other side of the mansion. So we got a little bit of a walk ahead of us. We're going to be going back down into the, you know, back down into the kitchen, into the tea room, all the way through the main hall and the art room, and all the way through the winding passage. Yeah, the reason why I, we have to go this far is because we don't ha there's a certain door that we cannot open as Chris. And it was over there by those two zombies that were eating the corpse up there, where I said I wasn't going to waste my ammo on them. So, just so you know that that is, the, that is a thing. See if I can get there before he gets me. Yeah. So, I want to go into the dining room here because, like I said, I'm going to go through the main hall. And this is a connection to it. There are no other enemies in this area, okay? The, the dining room and the main hall seem to be always clear, and the art room as well. There's a typewriter. This all looks familiar. Start of the game type stuff.
And over here is the uh, area where we first encountered the Cerberus for the first time. Came jumping through some windows. But we get a different enemy this time. Huge spiders that we can just avoid. These spiders like to lag out my game too, so... Okay, now we're in the winding passage. Oh, there's a... a dude. I'll just shoot him once and kill him. Those hunters, man, they're pretty, uh, they're actually pretty, probably the most difficult enemy in this game for sure. Alright, we're almost there, guys. We're almost at the, uh, east side save room. There's a hunter in this room, too. Oh, get in that door! Oh. The feels. And we don't have to worry about nobody right here. So we're by ourselves. Let's go in this door. We're going to pick up some stuff that we're going to need for the next video and save our game and end this one. Uh, what I'm going to take with me is the Colt. I'm going to take some rounds. I need the square crank. I need the square crank, yes. I know it's like, well, didn't we already use it? We're going to need it again. Where is you, square crank? There you are. And let's put these away. I just put this away. I need to get out the battery, which I don't know where I put it. It's in here somewhere, guys, I swear. There you are. All right, and I got the ink ribbons. I'll just use these. I don't really need to... I might as well take... No, I'll just exit. Whatever. Let's go save the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bass Games. Thank you so much for watching my Resident Evil walkthrough, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.